Saudi Arabia's uh, elastic production can't even make up for uh, the production from Iraq if Iraq was to fall. And also keep in mind, most of these assets are in the south, in Basra, right? So we're talking about 3 million barrels a day worth of production. They were targeting 4 million barrels this year from Iraq. So it's kind of a sad situation what's happening there. But, yeah, we could see impact. If the violence continues, we could see $10 or more added to the price of Brent, and WTI will follow. We've already seen some reaction in WTI, though, Chris. I mean, what are your, what's your expectation in terms of how the consumer will feel this come the summer driving months? Well, look, I mean, gasoline could move by 20 cents if we actually see more violence happen. The reality is right now, headlines, geopolitical concerns, that's what's driving the price of oil. Also, keep in mind, it's not about just Iraq. It's also about China building a petroleum reserve. It's about security concerns in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Libyan oil now is non-existent in the market. So all those things are creating tailwinds pushing the price of oil up. Iraq is another just piece of the story, if you will. Can you foresee a, a scenario in which WTI remains relatively muted relative to Brent and that spread continues to wide in that, uh, as you mentioned, WTI really doesn't take its cues off of the, you know, what's going on in sure. Iraq. It's more Brent. And also when WTI hits a certain level, especially given the CPI report today, the, Ob the Obama administration might be inclined to tap the SPR as it did with Arab Spring. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, President Obama has threatened to tap the SPR in, in the past. Uh, you know, I think we've seen oil prices now at 52-week highs above uh, above $100 now uh, for most of the of the past year, if, if not more. So I think that uh, you know what's driving this is headlines. Um, and I, I think that you've also got to realize that U.S. oil production has been surging. We should see prices coming down, and they have not because of all these concerns coming out of the Middle East, what's happening in China, and the rest of these things yeah. have all just connected together, and it's created a, a very interesting environment for the and, past and year. Chris, this is what we talked to Boone Pickens about the other day, okay? Yep. We, we know it's hard to get labor and everybody to all the spots in the U.S., but do you think this kind of unrest will accelerate as much as we can the reemergence of U.S. oil exploration and production? Well, I would hope so. I, I think that uh, it's definitely going to draw attention back to this country as we're now at eight point, almost 8.6 million barrels a day coming right up on Saudi Arabia's production. So I definitely yeah. think it'll draw attention back, and, and, and I hope that that happens uh, in, in the very near term, for sure.